We are safe here for now. We will plan in the morning. You have done well. Now I must prepare you for the rest of your journey. Zeus is all-powerful now, but it was not always so. Ages ago, the Titans ruled the universe under Kronos, and humanity suffered under their harsh rule. Castor. Follow me, father. Alright, this is definitely the most challenging mission we've done to date. And uh, it's a tough one, for sure. But I do have some strats that will make this more manageable. You are not as other men, father. You are favoured by the gods. Get the relic to the temple! So, um, it's actually the statues of Zeus that do the uh, majority of the heavy lifting in this particular fight. Even though Arkantos is a beast and does hit like a truck. And we want to be focusing down the Cyclops rather than Gargarensis here. For the simple fact that these lightning towers are the ones that do the majority of the damage to Gargarensis specifically. So the sooner the Cyclops are gone, the sooner these uh, statues of lightning can go to work. See, Arcantos has like 7 damage to uh, Gargarensis, but the Lightning Tower's like 50. <laughs> Trials you face strengthen you. Continue the journey before you, father. So this is uh, part of a three-part... Well, this mission is uh, made up of three parts. The first one is very much a basic micro part, or micro battle. Second part's a very difficult micro battle. <laughs> And the third uh, third phase is a uh, very difficult macro battle. Zeus, Poseidon and Hades did battle with the Titans in a great war. Kronos and the Titans were imprisoned in Tartarus, the deepest part of the underworld. Zeus came to rule over all the heavens. Poseidon envies his brother's domain and wishes it for himself. Kronos knows this and tempts Poseidon with promises of power if he is released. Poseidon? No. Yes. There are several places where one can enter Tartarus, but Zeus sealed them all with adamantine doors. These can only be opened by a mortal's hands. Gargarensis. The gate. That's what we saw when we entered Erebus in Greece. Yes. Gargarensis believes that if he helps the Titans return, Poseidon and Kronos will make him immortal as a reward. Alright, so when you know how, to escape the underworld. this is actually pretty straightforward, but it is tricky at best. At worst, it's downright ridiculous. Going so far as to say obnoxious. <laughs> So there's two things you want to kill, and that's the Hydras. Hydras are the only thing we use for Shades for. So in fact, we don't really need to use these guys. So we just want to make sure we're using up all of the uh attacking these guys when the ability's down. That looked like there is. It has been a long time since you sent him to the underworld, Arkantos. Fighting old battles again. Indeed. So you wanna be healing up the boys. And then we just wanna use Arkantos and Caster initially. So I don't really want to lose all my troops. But yeah, now they've uh, used all their stuff. Now we can go in for the kill. So we actually only want to use one catapult here. Oh, 
Always out the way. This thing's going to wail on this, and when that gets down, so I think it's like nine thousand, maybe nine four hundred. Um, that's when the next army spawns. We do not want to be anywhere near them, because it's all of the Avengers which do loads of uh, AOE damage. In fact, for this battle, I'm not even going to use these guys. I'm going to heal them. I'm not going to use them. Into you. I think it's night yeah, just when it's hit below nine thousand. They all tend to gravitate over there. We want these guys to heal. Definitely don't want to lose the priests. And this is a uh, patience is uh, is the way to victory. Going in guns blazing seldom works. So what about healing the boys, really? And even with Harkantos being hard healed, it's still <laughs> still a tough fight. But at this point, we can move the catapults into position. Avengers absolutely ridiculously powerful myth units. But that's how we get past this part. We've got these guys back now. I'm going to move these up so they don't insta-trigger. So move them up a little bit. I believe this is when it gets down to... You know, these basically want to stay attacked on this because our, a lightning storm spawns shortly after. But you need to continue to do damage to the boulder wall. That's the trigger. And go increase the damage. And this is where we use our shades to kill the hydras. That is how we do this part of the mission. Like, it's not terribly difficult when you know how, but learning how to do this is very challenging. Because this is like a very hard fight. Like, if you just straight up try to take the, those fights, you'll just straight up lose on Titan difficulty. In my experience, Father, anyway. We must escape! And that leads to the third part of this mission, which is arguably the hardest. Your enemy lies across the sea, father. Your fleet awaits. So this isn't We've got too to bad. The on the far shore as quickly as possible. There are relics, but I, as good as they are, really don't need them for the strategy I'm going to showcase. Um, but there are a few things we are going to be doing that's a little bit different to the norm. So we are going to take Chemsit. There's reason for my madness, but he's going to go on a voyage. Okay. 
That's our team one. These guys, team zero. I'm gonna do to grab this. Build a fortress. Build a temple. And go over there. This we can team up separately. Once that's dead, we can go on a little voyage. This is a macro uh, thing. There's going to be some tricks I'm going to showcase that makes this, in my opinion, considerably easier. But essentially, we want to go around about here. Destroy we need to those take this. Weapons. Lost Kemsit. Oh no, we didn't. <laughs> Wrong uh, hotkey. I didn't hotkey him. <laughs> right. So this is the strap for this bit. Just move him over there. Drop him off here. And there's basically a vault of plenty that we're looking to grab. So the enemy just keeps attacking you with these crazy siege attacks and it is relentless on Titan. So this is hence basically the strategy that we're about to implore. So the first problem is the defense. Uh, that was a mistake. I mean, you don't really need it. I could pretty much use anyone to grab the plenty vault. I want to chase that. That would be bad. Go grab. Grab one of you. You'll do. Next thing we want to do is take on this. So I kind of want to go this way, this way, X, that. So this stops them building siege engines. Once that's down, I want to use this Megazite to basically use an earthquake on their stables, which will stop them producing cavalry. Thing. Oh, interesting. It's too big. <laughs> well, that works. Okay, so we're basically going around the outside. He's just going to stay there for the rest of the mission. There's no way to bring him back. Not easily, anyway. I'm going to drop an earthquake here. Give or take. <laughs> of course, I got taken out by that. Mild inconvenience. Take two. So we need to avoid this because they will one shot. So we just want to come from a different angle like this. Get rid of these three. So I guess two stables and the military things. Massively reduces the amount of units they'll create. So next up, you want to take care of these two, which is a military academy and a stable. 
Again, all of these buildings prevents them from building units. Um, let's go ahead. I need food. This one, I still need wood. Let's back that up. And there's just one more building we need to take care of, which is over here, which is a temple. And that's what's basically building all of their centaurs. Now, you could argue that doing an um, earthquake there is easier, but it's also further away to get to this part. Which is why I typically go for... ...this setup. Because it's easier to take down the temple and the... Um, the buildings here. So this is pretty much being sacked at this point. The only thing we need to be very careful of is this. Take this out. And yes, we will lose everything at this point. Like, we're probably not going to escape with much, if anything at all. But this allows us to play macro. Perfect. So now they won't produce any more units. So now we just have to deal with everything they've got. We've got the plenty thing going. So that's food, gold, it's all being taken care of. This, we need to build a thing here. And then we just need to build an army. And that is basically my uh, cheeky tactic for beating this particular mission. Which is a tricky one. No, no two ways about it. It's definitely not easy even when you know what you're doing. Lots of things to juggle. But you can see they're not attacking me. Like they've that's all their units. They can't make anything to attack us other than these little things that they've still got left over. Definitely moving these out the way. All these in. To be fair, losing this isn't ideal. But it could be a lot worse if they had all their buildings. One of these first. <laughs> Oof, earthquake, that's cheeky. An earthquake doesn't quite kill a town center. We're not far off. Ah, this is what we're going to be targeting. At this point, I think we're pretty much golden. I lost a couple of my uh, siege units, so I'm going to get a couple more of those. 
So I can get three of those. Good economy coming in. That's still under our control. Let's use all his god powers. The only thing we probably could do that we're missing is uh, a little bit of uh, favor. These we got two. I want three. And let's say there's loads of art like relics around, but with this tactic, it's not really needed. I mean, every little helps and all that, especially with a mission like this. But there's nothing that's really game changing. And to be honest, at this point, I think I've got enough large enough army. Close this bad boy out. But yeah, there we have it. It is a very, very challenging fight. But did this being able to do an earthquake here, taking these things out very easily, well, relatively straightforwardly, is the way. We need to be careful of this. That is a chain lightning. I do not want to deal with. Just rally, rally forward. Should be nothing they can create now that can deal with what, what we've got. The only thing we need to take care of now is that. Rush should just be an A move, really. Considering I made quite a few mistakes on this run, not too bad. Could have been cleaner, that's for sure. Although, to be fair, I haven't really practiced this run. <laughs> I've only just learnt it um, purely by uh, trial and error. It's been uh, probably about an hour, hour and a half, trying to work out how to beat this mission. <laughs> but yeah, that'll that'll right about do him. We'll crush their wonder to rubble. Stand straight. That be all she wrote. It's just a case of, on, even on Titan difficulty, they don't rebuild buildings. So once you destroy them, like production buildings, they just stop producing those units. And that goes for every mission in this game, as far as I can tell. Zeus cannot interfere directly, or it will touch off a war amongst all the gods. That is why you are here. Make no mistake, if Kronos escapes, this will be Atlantis, and all you love will be lost. Arkantos, are you alright? Yes, just a bad dream. Come, join us. It is time to plan our attack. Let me make sure I understand. Osiris's pyramid guards another passage to the underworld? Yes. If we can reunite the body of Osiris, he will live again. We have one piece. There are three more which must be found and brought here. We have to split up. Amonra, you, Chiron, and I will divide our forces and recover the other pieces. Ajax, you come with me. Alrighty, folks. I think this is very much marks the start of the challenging, challenging missions. The next one's pretty challenging too. Um, in any case, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.